quickly. Let's get into enterprise a little bit because what really shocked me is these are some big names, Frank. These aren't little companies that you're doing with over here. And we've had a lot of success. And once again, some of these rollouts are just a few uh, monarchs, but some of them are a lot of monarchs. So let's talk about the one we're doing with CERN, which is, you know, that, what, what does CERN stand for again? Uh, you know, these are the guys that were made famous by Da Vinci Code. Remember that movie where yes. they were the thought particle? So, you know, in the movie at least. But, you know, they're using Natrox. CERN, they're, they're, they have 22 members worldwide and are constantly sharing their discoveries. You know, they have over 260 conference rooms slash labs where they need to webcast what they're doing to the community. Oh, so, and the huge colliders too, right? That's what yeah, these guys do? Right. Yeah. They, they, they originally started, like the church, building their own. You know, a couple of I.O. cards, some streaming software. Um, but then they realized, just like the other big names you had on, the, on board, why are we going to putz around with building our own encoding unit? You know, we know when it comes to encoders, people have a lot of choices. Why they choose Matrox is because ultimately we've been known, our brand is for quality. And when you're talking about Fortune 500 companies, an international organization like CERN, they go to the go-to device. You know, reliability has to be there. A dedicated encoder that is designed from the ground up has to be there. So, you know, as you can expect from CERN, before deciding on Matrox, uh, and in this case they used the Monarch HD, they tested many, many encoders, but none of them, the reason why they chose us was that none of them maintained an uninterrupted stream while they were starting and stopping the recordings because they continuously webcast, okay? Uh, because they have so many things happening, they never stop the broadcast. But what they do do is they don't want to have a recording of some dead time between one experiment and the other. So they stop and start the recording. So with Monarch HD, as you know, you could stream and record. None, none of the encoders out there really in, did, you know, uh, did a, a good job like Matrox uninterrupting uh, making sure that the, the webcast was not interrupted while you start to stop the recording. And that was the concern. So, so I want to stress this in two ways. Two things were going on here. Number one is you could start and stop the recording without interrupting the streaming, but you could also, through programming, through software, decide when you wanted to record or when you wanted to stream or whether you wanted to do both at the same time or one or the other, always at the highest quality that's intended for your audience. And this is Absolutely. another example of how the Matrox encoders are just better than a lot of the encoders. They're more robust. So let's review the family of devices. We have the Monarch at 995, which is HDMI in and out. We have the Monarch HDX, which is a dual device. It's HDMI or SDI in or out, as well as dual encoding and dual streaming. And then we have the LCS, which is dual input, but you can mix between the two. And they've got some really clever presets that let you put the picture in picture, not just a, a side by side, but actually lets you scale the, the picture's like, I'm here, and then the rest of it could be you. You know, we have this elaborate set. But next, I want to talk about a product that's about to start shipping, the, the Monarch Edge. This is a brand new product that actually Matrox has been shipping for over a year to OEM customers to design into systems. that They've now turned it into a product that can be done to be sold uh, to end users. Now, really, it's intended for integrators to integrate into bigger solutions. So talk about a little bit about where you see that product going and how it's going to evolve. So we're really excited about the Monarch uh, Edge. It's, it's actually a product that, that uh, encompasses and it houses Matrox's own ASIC. This is our own technology. The other workflow that this, uh, this unit is, is geared for is remote production. And this is going to revolutionize how content is going to be created. And so we have two, two products, uh, two SKUs, 10-bit, 422-10-bit is $10,000 US. And the 420 8-bit version is at $7,500 US. Like this video? Watch the entire webinar here and learn more about the Matrox family of encoders.